Yes, dear student, now there is another example from NCRT book. We, here in figure we have a cube. O E side has length B. At corner of this cube, we have placed plus Q charge on each corner. So you are asked here what is the value of electric field E and V both at center. At center of cube, what will be the value of electric field and electric potential? Now you know <coughs> distance of center. Distance of center from corner. Yeah, from from each vertex is equal to half of diagonal. Diagonal is B root 3. Actually, this is right triangle here. In this right triangle, this is square, this is right triangle, this is right triangle. This is a B, B square plus B square plus B square. So that way, diagonal comes out to be under root L square plus B square plus H square if it is divided. Here at B at same hand, it is this. Now electric field being vector quantity at center of Q electric field due to charges on opposite vertices will be equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So, electric field due to charges on opposite vertices cancel each other. Hence, at center, E equal to 0. Magnitude of electric field at center is 0 here. Electric field 0. And you know, what do you know? Electric potential is scalar quantity. So field potential due to point charge to a distance r v equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r. Here r is this or you can say this or this corner of the vertex can see only. So here r is equal to uh, v root 3 upon 2 and charge of there are eight charges. So potential at center, potential at center of Q V equal to A times one upon four pi epsilon zero Q upon R B root three upon two. It will be here 
तो 16 इंटू वन अपॉन फोर पाई एफ एल एम जीरो टू अपॉन बी रूट थ्री सिंपल क्वेश्चन आर आज इन एग्जाम बट समाइम दे क्रिएट डिफिकल्ट प्रॉब्लम आल्सो आई विल बी टेलिंग दो हजार नाउ आई कम टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर बेस्ड ऑन पोटेंशियल इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल वट इज इंडो पोटेंशियल वोल्ट पोटेंशियल एट एनी पॉइंट हंड्रेड वोल्ट इट मींस हंड्रेड जूल ऑफ वर्क हैज बीन डन इन कैरिंग वन कोलम चार्ज फ्रॉम इनफिनिट टू दैट पॉइंट नाउ आई एम टेलिंग ए वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन हियर ऑफ एनसीआर डी बुक दैट इज एग्जांपल टू पॉइंट फोर टू पॉइंट फोर एग्जाम्पल इज देयर ए चार्ज कंडक्टिंग स्फियर A conducting sphere of radius 12 centimeter. 12 centimeter is given a charge which can be uniformly distributed on the surface, and that charge is how much? 1.6 tenth power minus 7 coulomb. 1.6 tenth power minus 7 coulomb. So you are asked here find. What is the electric field number one? What is E? What is E electric field number one at any point inside? Number two just at a point. Just outside the sphere. And number three, at point, at point, eighteen uh, centimeter away. From center, so first answer you know very well because conductor has no charge inside and no electricity inside because whether the conductor is hollow or solid, if we give any charge that get distributed outside the surface. तो फर्स्ट आंसर इक्वल टू जीरो एट एवरी पॉइंट एवरी पॉइंट इन साइड स्पीयर नंबर टू एट सरफेस एट सरफेस यू कैन डू इक्वल टू नाइन इन टू टेन टू पावर नाइन Q upon R, R the radius. I should write here capital R. So this E equal to here. Now we second answer. Nine into ten to the power nine into one point six ten to the power minus seven upon twelve centimeter into ten to the power minus two square. सॉरी स्क्वायर यर ये मिस्टेक होती है आई वन मेनी टाइम्स सिक्सटीन नाइन या वन फोर्टी फोर इन टू टेन टू पावर फोर माइनस फोर अलेवन टू टेन टू पावर सॉरी नाइन प्लस फोर थर्टीन माइनस सेवन सिक्स अपॉन वन फोर्टी फोर और यू कैन नाइट इट एज यू नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दिस डेसीमल टेक वन पावर हियर टेन तो इट इज ट्वेंटी पावर फाइव 
वोल्ट पर मीटर और न्यूटन पर कूलम नाउ एट एटीन सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम हियर तो फोर एनी पॉइंट आउटसाइड द चार्ज कंडक्टर होल चार्ज एपेरेट सेंटर तो दैट थर्ड पार्ट इज देयर बी इक्वल टू नाइन इंटू एन टू पावर नाइन इंटू वन पॉइंट सिक्स टेन टू पावर माइनस सेवन अपोन एटीन एटीन टेन टू पावर माइनस टू होल स्क्वायर इट इज एटीन सेंटीमीटर कन्वर्ट इन टू मीटर ओके सो वॉट वेल यू गेट सिक्सटीन नाइन या वन फोर्टी फोर टेन टू पावर थर्टी माइनस सिक्स सेवन माइनस प्लस सिक्स अपोन एटीन इंटू एटीन यू नो एटीन एज या वन फोर्टी फोर तो एट इंटू टेन टू पावर फाइव अपोन एटीन है भाई फोर टू या नाइन जा तो फोर अपोन नाइन इंटू टेन टू पावर प्लस फाइव न्यूटन पर कूटन दिस आई हैव सॉल्व बिकॉज इट इज इंपोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर बोर्ड एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इन क्लास ट्वेल्व तो दिस वॉज वन क्वेश्चन हियर नाउ देर इज अनदर क्वेश्चन विच इज टोटली बेस्ड ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू चार्ज सेल और स्पीयर I have told you if we have a charge sphere, conducting sphere, whether hollow or solid, electrical inside zero, but potential at any point inside not zero. It is equal to potential at surface. V not zero here. Here B equal to potential electric potential at any point inside is equal to potential surface because potential is the amount of work done in carry unit charge from infinity to the point. I have explained in one video. I request you all, dear subscriber, ask your friend also. They will be benefited by seeing these videos. it is my request to you all ask your friend to subscribe and once see the videos so there is question again of solved example unsolved example of our ncrt book and this number is here uh 3 uh, 2.36 2.36 example there This is a spherical cell, and a conducting sphere are concentric. They are concentric. Now we have the center of this sphere cell. This cell is conducting cell, and at this, this is sphere here at center. This is sphere, solid conducting sphere. It radius R1. This is R2. It has charge small Q here and here capital capital Q positive. Which be possible? So here, what is the problem? A charge sphere at center of hollow conducting cell of radius R2. They are <coughs> given charge small Q and capital Q. What the potential difference between the surface of two spheres?
दिस इज वेरी एक्चुअली इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू जनरली टीचर्स इन द क्लास रूम डोंट डू इट बिकॉज दे से इट इज डिलीटेड फ्रॉम सिलेबस बट पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू पॉइंट चार इज नॉट डिलीटेड तो हियर आई टोल्ड यू दैट चार इफ यू चार कंडक्टर वेदर होलो और सॉलिड पोटेंशियल एट एनी पॉइंट इन साइड इज गोल टू पोटेंशियल एट सरफेस एंड फोर ए पॉइंट आउट साइड स्पियर होल चार्ज एपियर्स टू बी एट सेंटर एंड फोर ए पॉइंट ऑन सेल सरफेस अगेन ऑन सेंटर तो पोटेंशियल एट इनर स्पियर पोटेंशियल एट सरफेस of inner sphere v1 i will write v1 one upon 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 upon r1 so we start thinking that we have done our job no potential at this point is equal to potential at surface of sphere also is point at this point potential due to charge to is there and due to this also so plus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 q upon r2 here mistake is done we forget it i will tell you something more about this now potential at surface of outside potential at surface of सरफेस ऑफ सेल वी टू इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन फोर पाई एफ सेवन जीरो क्यू अपॉन आर टू बट फोर दिस चार्ज ऑन दिस स्पेयर दिस पॉइंट एवरी पॉइंट आउटसाइड इज एंड फोर आउटसाइड पॉइंट द होल चार्ज अपने सेंटर तो प्लस वन अपॉन फोर पाई एफ सेवन जीरो Q upon R2 for this point P here the charge appears at center and hence potential difference potential difference between the surface of conductor sphere and cell V1 minus V2 hence V1 वन अपॉन फोर पाई एफ सेवन जीरो क्यू वन अपॉन आर आर वन प्लस वन अपॉन फोर पाई एफ सेवन जीरो सॉरी क्यू है क्यू अपॉन आर टू माइनस वन अपॉन फोर पाई एफ सेवन जीरो क्यू अपॉन आर टू माइनस वन अपॉन फोर पाई एफ सेवन जीरो क्यू अपॉन आर टू This get cancelled. So it is one of it is a Q upon four pi f seven zero r one upon r one minus one upon r v one minus v two is Q upon Q is small Q charge on inner sphere. So this since r one ma Less than R2, so R1 upon R1 minus 1 upon R2 greater than zero. Positive. If Q is positive, then V1 minus V2 greater than zero or V1 greater than V2. Because, you know, this is independent potential at inner sphere, independent of charge on outside sphere. Now, if we connect, now this is separate question here. If we connect the two by a conductor, then how much charge will flow from in, inside sphere to outside sphere? कितना charge flow कर जाएगा? How much charge will flow from inside to outside? I told you just now that electric charge flows due to potential difference. 
till the potential of 2 becomes same. How big charge is present on outside cell? If charge is small q positive, so V1 greater than V2. The potential of this cell and surface of the sphere will become same only when this q is 0. So when 2 are connected by a conducting wire whole charge or inner sphere will flow Cell. Whole charge will appear, come out. Under Pachega in Q, Jokta Grahega. How small it is, but it is positive. Potential of inside sphere is always higher than outside. Video has become a little longer. I want to tell one question more, simple question. This is the origin here. At origin, a charge Q of certain, say, 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb is placed. There is a point uh, here we have draw a sphere. The, char the charge is placed at center, point A, point B. This is a sphere. And suppose the coordinate of point A is 2 meter by 0 meter and it is minus 2 meter and 0 meter. So what is potential difference between point A and B? So people got confused. Okay, work has to be done carrying a by point Q charge is here at center, every point on a sphere has same distance. Potential being a scalar quantity. And, uh, so what is the potential at A? The same is at B. So potential difference between A and B is zero. And moreover, I told you every sphere having <coughs> charge center is an equipotent surface. So I gave simply this question here. Okay, thank you.